You've got the AirPods and Ricky Fowler as he makes his way down off the tee. Uh, Ricky, thanks again for doing this. Let's just start with a strategy here at the 16th. Uh, a lot of different options, a lot of different ways to play it. How do you look at it starting from the tee on down? Well, starting from the tee, uh, first mission accomplished, hit the fairway. Um, that's been the goal on every hole this week, especially today. But um, now I've got the first one done, so it be green light and we're going. Ricky, this is Azinger here. I was uh, just checking out your ball striking numbers, and you are vastly improved. You're seventh in strokes gained approach this year. You were 150th last year, so you've been doing some good work, huh? Yeah, things have definitely tightened up. It, uh, I mean, a lot of it just comes down to confidence, as you guys know. Um, yeah, when you're when you're there and you, you know your lines are tight, unfortunately this week it's been a bit, a bit off the last two days. Uh, it was pretty survival. Uh, yeah, the, the course is already tough to begin with, but I honestly didn't know exactly where it was going. So just trying to you know get by from there. But things have definitely tightened up a lot in the last fall and, and this year for sure. Ricky, it's facts. I, um, I've noticed that a lot of players have said the putting green is much slower than the rest of the golf course. You've got great putting numbers going this week. Has it been tough to adjust from the putting green with all the wind and not cutting the greens yesterday and back to cutting them today? It's, it's definitely been an adjustment, like you said. Uh, you know, the putting green is, is usually fairly close, but it's never uh, never seems to be spot on in a lot of weeks. So, you know, you're, once you're getting out there, you're kind of getting a feel in your feet and what it looks like and yeah, you just kind of adjust from there. Hopefully you don't have a, you know, downwind, downhill, or start your day here at Bay Hill because they're starting to get crispy. It'll be fun tomorrow for sure. Well, Ricky, uh, not many players have embraced Arnold Palmer like like you have. You, you knew him well. I'm, I'm just looking at the shirt, which is all world. By the way, you can get that shirt in the merch tent. <laughs> You've always had, you got the umbrella on your hat. Your bag is always decorated. Uh, you're great with the fans. I'm wondering... What kind of things did you learn from Arnold Palmer when you knew him and uh, he had a lot of influence on you, I know? Well, he was obviously a lot of fun to be around. And we, had, we had some good times, but I think the biggest thing, you know, just he took care of people. He treated people, you know, how he wanted to be treated. Um, fairly simple, um, but you know, I'd say there's, there's plenty of people out there to, that don't necessarily go about it that way. So, um, no, he was just... Uh, really good at keeping uh, you know, people feeling better after they spend time around them. All right, Ricky, you're away. We're going to let you uh, go ahead and get ready for your second shot here, and we'll chat with you in just a couple moments. Cool. Sounds good. Bit of do here to Ricky Fowler as he makes his way up to the green. Uh, Ricky, uh, you, you just stayed dry up there. Was there a little bit of uh, excitement as that thing was flying through the air? Yeah, that was, I mean, you never like being in between clubs. And, uh, you know, what with the longer one there and knew that it's kind of you know, if I happened to hit it well and it got moving left, I had a chance of the water being, you know, out of play. That's not not what I wanted to do by any means. I was trying to kind of let the floor kind of float and hold. It just ended up being a lot more off the right. So it started, a, you know, pretty close to my line. And just as soon as it got in the air, it just started moving left. So I never saw a splash. So I'm praying we got a nice little shot and we'll see if we can get her up and down. All right, Ricky. Thanks again for uh, joining us. Uh, good luck the rest of this weekend, and uh, we look forward to you getting back in the winning, winner's circle uh, not too far from now. Sounds good. Appreciate it, guys. All right, Ricky Fowler joining us on the latest player in play chat. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.